Hello guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jernigam here. If you have a mum and dad, auntie or uncle or brother or sister that is sick and ill and poorly, some people say, please God help my dad and my mum and dad, my brothers and sisters get better, and my friends and my neighbours. Sometimes I lose my way as well, and just help them get better. Why do they act like the way they act? People don't care about them. People don't see them for how they are. Some people don't have the patience to see them. Other people do. Other people just make out they're crazy when they're not crazy. When they can just sit down and talk to them and listen to them and give them the time of day just to help somebody. Some people haven't got enough time. Time's valuable. I can understand that, but at least have a bit of time to help people. Sometimes they return the favour. Sometimes you uh, go outside walking and you may entertain an angel or someone that you sit with or have a friend with and you don't know they're an angel. I mean, I've been watching a lot of things of angels and ghosts on YouTube. That's just what I like to watch. But if you had one wish, what would you wish for? Or multiple? I know what I'd wish for. If they could cure cancer in the world and find a vaccine and find something to cure it. Uh, they've, cu they've cured many other things like, uh, I, don't know, I don't think they can cure AIDS or diseases like um, other diseases they've got out there like, I don't know. Um, but it's a shame that they, uh, perhaps they have got the, the cure for cancer but you've got to pay the money. All them people with cancer that have died, all I want to say is rest in peace. Some of us make it, some of us don't, it's not the point though. But you're going to leave a lot of heartbroken and shattered people behind. People that die, die of all sorts of bowel cancer or testicle cancer and have problems in the chest. And one of these days in the future, hopefully, things will get better. They may be on the other side in the heaven or, you know, things may be great again. It's not the point though. But you, when you enjoy spending time with someone on the earth and you want to have the last minutes with them just to say goodbye or just, you know, have a conversation and going back and just, you know. Like me with my mum, I didn't really say goodbye to her when she died of a breast cancer. Uh, I spoke to a medium. He told me what was going on. Perhaps my mum visits me, which I think she does and gives me hugs and you know, tells me everything's going to be okay. Perhaps you go through the same thing that I go through. No, perhaps you don't. I mean, you, you feel like there's a spirit or a ghost in the room that helps you, guides you. You can see orbs and stuff. You know, one day you'll see her again, or him, or her. Uh, but sometimes people can't wait that long. Uh, all I want to say out there as well, um, if you are struggling with things out there, uh, seek for help, which some people do and some people get ignored. Um, you know, um, I don't want people to feel like they're alone in the world, which they're not. There is people out there that listen. I mean, I lose my way all the time. I think my family don't listen to me. I think I'm a joke. But... Uh, They've got issues and problems themselves. We all got issues and problems. Some of us can cope with it, some of us can't. I've hurt my finger today, as you can see. I think it's a bit swollen, but I don't know. Um, some people have the gift to talk to the dead, to talk to angels and spirits. Some people probably don't know they've got the gift. Um, I may see orbs flying on my phone. You may see orbs as well. <clears throat> so it's a good sign. You can see the lights on and it's shining my face as we're talking. Let's have a look at it. I'm not trying to look down.